Hey guys, welcome back to youtube.com slash one hour shower. I got a message from a YouTube user who asked me how to stand out from a crowd. And there's many ways to do it. I'm gonna discuss some simple things, some advanced things. This is gonna take commitment. It's gonna take trial and error. It's gonna take guts. It's gonna take a lot of calm. It's gonna take a lot of uh, poker face. It's gonna take a lot. But with these tips and tricks and ideas and thoughts and words, Hopefully they help you. So let's get going. The very first thing you want to do is discover yourself. That sounds easy, but it's not. To discover yourself is one of the most challenging things in the world. There are many different ways to discover yourself. Writing about yourself. Talking to someone about yourself. Sitting there and thinking about yourself. Thinking about the decisions you've made in your life and how they got you to where you are today. And always remember when you're discovering yourself, to think of the big picture. And what I mean by that is, everything you do only makes an impact in your life. So you have control of your life. Do anything you want, and within the laws, you can do anything you want, and you can own it, and it's sure you're gonna feel bad, and you're gonna run into bumps and bruises, and get knocked around once in a while, you might cry, you might get angry, but as long as you stay within those legal bounds, you can do anything you want. Anything you set your mind to, you can do it. Discover yourself. Take the time to learn about your fears, your dreams, your hopes, your wishes. Discover yourself and love yourself. That's the first thing you gotta do when it comes to standing out from a crowd. The second is making your own choices, even if it's not the group choice, the popular choice, the choice around town, the choice in your household make your own choices and you stand to it. If you make a choice, you sit down at dinner with your family and they say, I can't believe you made that choice. I can't believe you're dating someone of that color. Or I can't believe that you hang out with that guy. You know what he did. You, you would absolutely say, that's my choice. That's not your choice, that's my choice. Do you accept me? Do you accept that? Do you love me? Because loving someone, there's no conditions on it. Either you love them or you don't. So when you make a choice, Make it. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing, ever. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. It's the only way to stand out from a crowd. You start right at home, making your own choices and standing to them. Even if you run into problems, Not people don't like when you're different. They don't like when you're outgoing, if they're introverts. You stand to it and you never have to fight to defend it. Just own it. Smoothly, confidently, you own it. Yeah, it's the kind of car I drive even if you know it's gonna get that person so angry because they think you should drive this car or if you date someone that they don't think you should be dating you say I, I date that person you're making a decision that's your own and you're standing out from the crowd even if it's just one person you're talking to anyway getting out of that high emotion stuff let's 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 talk some uh, X's and O's you want to be memorable not flashy you want people to remember you they always say you could do a hundred good things and if you do one bad thing at the end, they're gonna remember the one bad thing. So you wanna do good things, you wanna be memorable. And being memorable, if you look into your own mind, the memories you have consist of a wide variety of different occasions and people. So be memorable. Don't try to make them remember you, don't go out of your way to make them remember you. Just be memorable, every decision you make, do it with smoothness and kindness and ease and love and and you know transition from one thought to another any way you want and I think you'll be you'll be remembered for that standing out from a crowd also affects other things besides social status it affects your jobs if you want to get a job and you're competing for it you're gonna have to prove that you have something that they want so you wanna so this actually standing out from a crowd pays off in many ways think about that you're standing out from potential mates if you're a girl you want to attract those guys there's like you know 20 girls you want to stand out and it doesn't always mean being the most prettiest girl because that's not what every guy is looking for it's standing out and being and professionally standing out if there's going to be 20 people interviewing from the for the job you want to be memorable like i talked about and doing so starts with standing out from the crowd now if you're someone who doesn't stand out from a crowd now and that's why you're watching this then you're gonna have to try some new things. Get out there, go to an amusement park and hop on the biggest roller coaster they have. Call up your friend if you have one and go to a, a, a dance or a bar or a nightclub and if you don't have one, then go by yourself. You know, conquer your fears, always be safe, always stay within the law, 
but try new things. Go out there and try new things because you're gonna see, you're gonna be surprised at how many people are out there that struggle with the same thing as you. You are worthy of those experiences, and those experiences are worthy of you being there. All right, think about some people that stand out from a crowd. There's guys like Dennis Rodman. There's girls like Tina Fey. There is politicians like Barack Obama. Um, there's Chris Farley, rest in peace. There's, you know, Notorious B.I.G., rest in peace. These guys and women stand, stand out from a crowd for many different reasons. Some because of their humor, some because of their thoughts, some because of the visual. So standing out from a crowd doesn't just mean throwing a nose ring in and spiking your hair up and saying, I've arrived, check me out, because that's not going to work. You're not discovering yourself and you're not trying new things. You're just trying to get the results quickly and that never works. It's a journey. It's a very long journey to discover yourself and to stand out from a crowd. At its core, standing out from the crowd consists of you entirely embracing whatever makes you an individual. If you have two different color eyes or if you are a little overweight or if you have a tattoo on your arm or if you have hair that goes down really long Standing out from the crowd means that you are fully embracing those things, everything about you. You are fully embracing those things when you look at today, tomorrow, and the future. And looking back to the past, thinking about how and why you should have embraced those things and what they potentially could have done to make you stand out from the crowd back then, when you fully embrace yourself. Also, take some time to get to know your family's history as far back as you can and learn about the struggles they went through to make it possible for you to be watching this video because those things make you individual. Um, those women in our ancestry, they worked so hard and they fought so hard to, uh, to stay alive and to survive and to have a family and we've made it to this point. So learn about them. What kind of people were they? What kind of work did they do? Where'd they go to school? Did they date? It's hard to learn really far back, but, but do your best. Learn what makes your family and what's in your blood individual from others, and then you can begin to learn what makes you individual from others. My next point is being knowledgeable on the things that you love. Being an individual requires you to be very knowledgeable on the things that you love. So say you love Lady Gaga, and you know 10 of her song names, you know her real birth name, you know where she's from, Go even further than that. Learn what she likes to eat. Learn what she doesn't like to eat. Learn what her first car was. Immerse yourself in the things you love and embrace those things. Take it further. If something like Lady Gaga's music has been there for you in times of feeling negative or feeling sad, then, then really embrace that. Immerse yourself in the world of, for example, Lady Gaga. Or if it's a car, if you love cars and you know so much about one specific Corvette. Learn even more. Find, go on online or go in a newspaper and, and find guys who are selling Corvettes and call them. Just have a conversation with them about the Corvette. You're immersing yourself in that world, that culture that makes you individual. And the more knowledge you have on it, the more power you have, the more empowerment you have, the better you are in those social situations where you're gonna stand out from the crowd. Immerse yourself in pop culture or whatever it is, do it. Another thing I wanna talk about is sticking to your guns and learning how to handle rejection because that's gonna happen. I talked about it earlier in the video where people don't like the decisions you make. Learn different ways to cope and to handle it immediately and moving forward. Um, if, if you're confronted by someone who doesn't like a choice you're making, be it the clothes you're wearing or the person you're hanging out with, um, learn how to handle those moments because they are going to come eventually, whether it be now or later, they're going to come and you're going to have to make decisions on how to handle those moments. So if someone says, you're weird, you're crazy, you're crazy, why would you say that? You're going to have to be able to handle those because I know in my life people said, you're weird, you're crazy, you know, why are you hanging out with these people? I've been asked those questions and after all these years now, I've learned ways to handle that. And there's going to be different ways for you to handle it. So learn it. Imagine in your head what those people are going to say to you. Because what they say doesn't matter. But you're going to have to talk to them. And maybe win them over. And maybe have them see your side. 
Also, when you're talking to people, take some risks. Instead of saying, how are you? Say, I love curly fries. Be weird. It's, it's all right. It's okay to be weird. Instead of saying, it's raining outside, say, uh, I, I love the rain. The body's made of 90% water. It's okay. Be an individual. Embrace it. Own it. But also say these things and everything in this video I've talked about, do everything in this video I've talked about with a sense of calm because you don't want to experience too many ups and downs. Just jumping right into a lot of things, you're bound to go through highs and lows and you don't want that. You kind of want to be in that gray area. So always remember to keep yourself grounded, keep your feet grounded and remember that through all these things you're going to go through, uh, you want to stay stay grounded and be calm and, and never be stressed from this. This should be a, a fun experience and it, and it does. It, it comes with a lot of rewards and you'll see the people who are really your friends once you start embracing who you are as an individual and you'll meet people who really truly are your friends. You'll learn quickly who your real friends are. With that said, continue to respect everyone else. Be kind to others. Always always do those those basic things. Be kind, be polite while you're doing these new, fun, breathtaking, risky things. Always be respectful, always be kind. That's important. It's hard to have that balance, but, but it is possible to meet somewhere there in the middle to where you're doing new things and experiencing new things and still respecting the people around you. Show up to places on time, keep your promises, be a trendsetter, be a leader, maintain old friendships, reach out to your new friends, have fun with everyone. When you introduce yourself to people, if a teacher asks your name, or a professor, or a friend, or a stranger, say it loud, say it proud, speak in a very strong voice because you are strong, and own it. Everything in that conversation, own it. Go home and say, I said that, and I said it, and, I, and I'm happy I said it. I'm proud I said it. If it takes buying some new clothes, buying a new wardrobe, do that. New haircut, do it. For a female, go to the salon, get your nails done. When you walk into those places or any places, walk standing straight up, keep your posture up, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, posture and breathing. Always keep those two things in mind. Also maintain eye contact when you're talking to people. It doesn't have to be intense eye contact to where you're staring at them while they talk to you, but just maintain eye contact. Sometimes I learned a trick recently that if you look to the to the corner of their eye instead of right, if you're nervous when it comes to looking in someone's eyes, then look at the corner of their eye right here and just stare at it and the person looking at you can't even tell that you're not looking in their eyes, they think you are, it's that good of a trick, give it a shot. Listen to everyone else, don't cut them off, let them finish their statements, let them get out their thoughts. That's always important, being polite and letting others speak. After you watch this video, if you're gonna go out there, you're gonna start making moves, talk to yourself, say, you are awesome, you are great, you are fun, you are exciting, tell yourself these things, it's okay. And if you feel weird doing it, then, you know, go slow, go slow, start off small. You are awesome. Discover yourself. See how you feel when you hear yourself say these things, not others because their words don't matter. See how you feel when you say these things. Introspective looks at yourself is fun and it's rewarding and it's breathtaking and it's relevant and it's important to the growth of you as an individual. Never ever let people insult you or put you down. If someone's going to question you and say, why are you doing that, that's fine, or why are you hanging out with that person, that's fine, but if they take it further and they start insulting you, do not let that happen. Stand up for yourself. Don't let people walk all over you. Whether it takes you, you counting to 10 in your head, taking a nice deep breath or two, don't let them put you down. You don't have to fight them physically to silence them because their words don't matter, but if they do hurt you, then speak up. And that right there is being an individual. And if you ever get overwhelmed, slow down the pictures in your mind. Slow them down because they're your pictures. They are what you're seeing. Slow them down until you get one solid picture of what's truly disturbing you. And then do whatever you want with that picture. You can add pieces to it or take pieces away or mix and match pictures that you've seen in the past that have bothered you. And when you start really looking at the things that, that bother you, you'll see just how truly small they are. And it's a big step in becoming an individual. Thanks a bunch for watching. I hope to see you guys around. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and rate. YouTube.com slash one hour shower.